good morning everyone so <laughs> i'm starting this vlog super tired like i just woke up uh probably like 20 minutes ago and i made myself my coffee but i have not drank it yet it says on my mug a yawn is my silent scream for coffee which is very true i usually go to the gym in the morning at five but today i just wasn't feeling it so i i'm either going to go later today or i'm going to take a rest day i haven't really decided yet but i definitely like I did have a really good sleep. I think I may have slightly overslept because I still feel very, very tired, but I had a really solid sleep, which I haven't had in a while for whatever reason. But this is the Colleen Hoover reading vlog. There's probably gonna be more than one of these because I have so many of her books to read. We'll see how things go and kind of gauge from there. I will show you later all of the Colleen Hoover books that I have that I still need to read, but I did start one yesterday. Today's actually Tuesday, but I'm kind of getting a later start to this vlog. But I started with It Ends With Us, which I kind of debated about because I know that this one is like the most popular one and the most beloved, but I did decide to start with this one and then I guess we'll just see how I feel about the others. I'm probably, I was reading it on my e-reader last night, that's why I'm not entirely sure, but I'm probably like about almost 100 pages into it. The thing is, I know that one of the characters is going to switch because of that TikTok where, I mean, I've seen it on TikTok before, but there's that specific one where it's like, um, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy, unless of course we're talking about my enemy, what a Paltrow, but they talk about one of the characters in here. So I do know that this character is going to switch, which is kind of, I feel like it's kind of lessening the impact of it, but there also was a scene that just happened that I really didn't like. and. I don't know if it's supposed to make you uncomfortable, but I don't know. It's just a really strange scene where like the love interest literally, I don't think this is a spoiler, so I'm not going to be spoiling any of the books in this vlog, but this to me isn't a spoiler because it's not like a key plot point, but the love interest, he comes to her door and is like begging her to have sex with him. It's just kind of icky. I'm not a huge fan of that, uh, but. I don't know. It's really because he literally just wants like a one night stand or to satisfy his needs that I really don't like that, but it's whatever. So I am going to continue this. I do think it's kind of funny that her journal entries or diary entries are written to Ellen because now Ellen uh, has kind of become passe. So that's an unfortunate choice, but that's just a minor observation. I don't like, I'm not disliking it. I'm not liking it yet. I'm just kind of reading it. I don't really have enough that has happened yet. So it's interesting so far, but I don't, I don't really have all that many thoughts yet. I will say Colleen Hoover's writing is incredibly readable. Like I always read all of her books so quickly and this one is no exception. And I actually have Friday off this week. So this is like the perfect week to do this vlog because my boyfriend's working like the entire week. So I'm gonna be here by myself all the time. So I'll have plenty of reading to do. And then I have Friday off, so I'll be able to do a lot of reading that day as well, unless I decide, I haven't decided yet, but I might clean the house or like do some other work. But yeah, that's where we're at so far. I am going to start work now because it is just about starting work time and I'll do a little bit of reading later and update you guys. Happy Wednesday. It's been a while. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I have been reading actually. Last night I ended up staying up pretty late last night and reading this, which is unusual. I haven't done that in a while. I'm kind of sad that like I wasn't able to finish it yet because I'm about halfway through and I would like to finish it. So I'm going to try and do that today. But I did want to show you guys all of the other Colleen Hoover books that I have to read. So one actually just came in the mail and actually all three of these I haven't hauled yet. So we have Layla, which I know is more of like a thriller. It's kind of more fiction than it is romance. I'm not entirely sure, but I haven't heard too much about that one. We have Confess, which I believe has like art in it. So I was super intrigued by this one when it first came out. Yeah, it does have art in it, which is awesome. I love that. And then 
all your perfects which this one actually this is a new cover for this one but haven't really heard all too much about that one either and then the other ones i believe sorry it's so dark it's very brainy here but the other ones i believe are all in the corner here with the books that i don't have on shelves yet so verity i actually started listening to the audiobook for today and so far it's really interesting it's about like i think this one might be more of a thriller as well but it's about an author who got into a car accident and she can't finish writing this really popular series that she was supposed to write so the main character is also an author but not very popular she's kind of struggling and she's called on to finish the series but she ends up finding an autobiography by this author and she has just started reading it at the part that I left off on off on i can't speak i'm going to try to find the others so we have one here i have regretting you which i think is one of her more recent ones honestly i can't even keep track or remember at this point there's a couple here so we have reminders of him which is definitely one of her more popular ones and then november 9 of course ugly love is one of her other popular ones but i've already read that one i've read ugly love slammed which I totally forgot about and hopeless and uh, maybe someday and I can't remember what else is that all I know for sure I didn't like slammed I liked ugly love and I liked maybe someday I can't remember I feel like I'm forgetting one but I'm not entirely sure those are obviously like the important ones that I remember I think that might be it from looking at all the other stacks here I think those are all the ones that I got. Does that make sense? I don't know. Nope, I think that's everything, but that's still like, that's a really decent number of books here. So yeah, It Ends With Us, I would say is the most popular. This is the one that I'm reading right now. Then we've got Reminders of Him, November 9, Regretting You, Verity. Actually, I have Without Merit. I don't know where that one went, but All Your Perfects, Confess, and Layla and without merit is somewhere but i'm not entirely sure where so i think those are all of like the colleen hoover books that i have that i'm hoping to read obviously i'm not going to read all of these this week but i'm hoping to make a decent dent i did decide to start verity on audio because i didn't want to like listen to another romance and then i might get kind of confused so my plan is to be like listening to one book reading another but have vastly different stories so then I don't get them all mixed up but that's where we're at with the Colleen Hoover reading vlog I think I'm going to go and do a little bit more reading I'm kind of behind on my to-do list but I'm not feeling entirely well so uh that's fine I will get caught up later but at some point I'm going to have to try and find without merit, wherever it went. I just found it, it was under a cookbook on the floor. So now I have my entire stack of Colleen Hoover to read. We'll see what happens. Good morning and happy Thursday. So I finished If It Ends With Us last night, which I will talk about in a hot second, but I need to decide what I am going to read next because I haven't picked that yet because I went right to bed after. So without merit, I don't think I'm going to pick because I think it's going to be more like thrillery. So same with Layla. I don't think I'm going to pick either of those. Confess is a front runner because I had been like super interested in or intrigued by this one when it came out. All Your Perfects I believe is sad from my researching. So I think I'm going to save that one just because If It Ends With Us was a little bit more sad and like intense I guess and then reminders of him I think this one is this one's definitely more of one of her more popular ones but I think it's also because this is her most recent release yeah so this one came out recently so maybe I'll read this one like maybe I should go with a recent release of hers November 9 I don't think that I'm going to go with because I'm listening to the audiobook for Verity and both of these are about authors or else I probably would go with November 9 but I don't really want to get them confused if that makes sense and then regretting you I just I don't know I'm not sure if I'll go with this one is this one of her more recent ones as well she releases them so quickly no 2019 
she releases books so quickly it's so hard to keep track of anything so it looks like these two are my options right now this one's about an artist and then this one is about a young mom mother who's fighting to earn a place in her child's life but is there room for her so she just came out of prison so this one seems like it might be a little bit more emotional as well this one's about risking everything for love and finding your heart somewhere between the truth and lies this one i don't think is like a super popular one of hers but i think i might read this one I don't know I feel like we'll pepper in like some less popular ones in here and we'll see how I feel about all of them in general but I will go downstairs now and get if uh, it ends with us and we will talk about that I'm really tired in case you couldn't tell <laughs> I've relocated so it ends with us was definitely not what I was expecting. I knew going into it because someone had told me that it was a story about abuse, but I thought that it was going to be about abuse, but then still like a romance story. But I don't think it really was a romance story at all. It really was just focusing on abuse. And I think it did a really good job of that. I do have mixed feelings about it. I don't think that I loved it as much as everyone else has i feel like there's like such high praise for it and maybe because of that i was a little bit let down like i think the abuse storyline and everything was incredibly well done so i think that that definitely was a plus to it but i think that the writing of it was a little bit too cliche for my own personal tastes at times like it just kind of, I feel like if I had read this maybe a few years ago, I would have enjoyed it more because I'm just kind of over that like cliche writing, if that makes sense. I don't want to make it sound like, oh, I'm above that. Like, that's not what I mean at all. It's just, it kind of makes me cringe at times. I did enjoy the fact, however, that it was written like a typical romance novel for a lot of it. I think that that was a very smart decision um, because then you don't see it coming and it kind of was very true to like what abuse can be and what it is. So while I didn't personally really care for how cliche some things could be, I did appreciate like that that was kind of an intelligent choice that was made. I thought that other characters were going to be a bigger part of the story and I know that there's a sequel coming out so I would imagine that those characters are going to see more of the light of day in that sequel. But it's still like just based on what I had seen around the internet, I felt like the character was going to be a way bigger part of the story than they actually were. So that was kind of interesting. But I like, I don't give star ratings anymore, so I'm not gonna give it a star rating. And this kind of is a prime example of why I don't want to because there's so many levels to this story. There's like the emotional impact of it. There's the importance of it. And then there's kind of my personal enjoyment, but that's kind of why I just don't like to give ratings. But I think this was a really good book. Like, I do think this was really well done and I did enjoy it. It just, I kind of have mixed feelings on it, um, but not in a bad way where I didn't like it. I just don't think I like loved it and would rave about it like everyone else has been. But I think it's one that will stick with me and one that I'm going to continue thinking about. Um, even like having finished it last night, I keep on thinking about it and like, realizing more that I enjoyed about it but I'm going to start reading Confess now which I'm hoping will be kind of a little bit lighter like I feel like Colleen Hoover as much as she writes really enjoyable romances she also writes stories that kind of have more of an impact to them as well they're definitely more on the emotional side of romances versus like Christina Lauren I love their romance books but they usually are a bit more like cutesy and uh, sexy romances well Colleen Hoover balances all of that she has that but I wouldn't necessarily say that her romances are cute they kind of m have more of like an emotional level but we'll see how I end up feeling about this one I literally was being so productive but then I was also watching TikTok, so how productive was I really being? But then I also thought of a really good TikTok idea, so now I'm just gonna go to my bookshelves and try and find the floppiest paperbacks that I can find because you know that like TikTok sound, it's like my money don't jiggle jiggle. Like it's been stuck in my head all week. But then as I was watching it, I was like, oh my God, I can do this with floppy paperbacks. So now I'm trying to find like the floppiest paperbacks that I can possibly find. This has a pretty good flop to it, but 
that's my plan. I need to go and find floppy paperbacks. This is what TikTok has done to me. I used to never go on it because I knew this was going to happen, but like literally whenever I think of a TikTok idea, I immediately drop everything and I try to film it. And this one in particular, I'm very excited about. But I did wake up this morning and like I had used the sound yesterday, which is like my favorite sound right now, other than the my money don't jiggle jiggle. It's the, uh, are you okay? Like, really? I'm fine, but I'm a bass fan. I'm a dude with pizzazz. Like that one. I did a TikTok with it yesterday and I woke up and it had almost 100,000 views. So it's, TikTok fascinates me. It's wild. Anyways, I am going to spend my time not being productive and trying to find the floppiest paperbacks that I can find. People could see what I was doing right now. Like I'm literally just going up to my shelves and flopping all the books to see what has a good flop. Like this one doesn't really have a good flop, but I, I want it to flop like it's a dead fish. Those are the vibes that I'm going for. And I am admittedly struggling to find it. I know they exist. I know I have so many that they flop open and I'm just like, ah, oh, that, that's, that's the serotonin boost that I needed. But I just can't find them right now. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I'd like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. It makes me want to dribble dribble, you know. Wow. Crazy. You're crazy, girl. So it's been a couple of days. It's actually Monday, the day that this video is going up. Uh, and I'm just about to have my breakfast, but I wanted to close things off for this vlog. And I only updated you guys when I finished If It Ends With Us, but I did end up finishing Confess and Verity as well. So I did pretty well. I read three books. I do have four more to read. So if you guys would like to see another Colleen Hoover reading vlog, I can definitely do that. But to give you my thoughts, Verity, I finished on Friday, I think. And this one like actually blew my mind, to be honest. I don't really read thrillers at all or mysteries. Like this is a domestic thriller and it's very different than obviously her other books. But it's very different for me as well because that's not the kind of thing that I usually go for. So it was really interesting reading this one because it was so unique to what I've read before, but I did really like it. Do I think that thrillers and everything are for me? Still no, but this one was like interesting and I don't regret having read it. I was surprised by things. I was like, I'm not really the kind of reader who's trying to guess what's going to happen and how things are going to end up. But I did kind of think that I was going to go one way, but then it didn't end up going that way. So that was really interesting. This was just like, it was really weird. It kind of reminded me of Tiffany D. Jackson, sort of, like that sort of same vibe of Thriller, which was really interesting because I really enjoyed Tiffany D. Jackson. I don't think it was like as good as that, but it was still pretty cool. And just, I don't know, super different than what I was expecting. I didn't really know what to expect going into this one, but it was really interesting. And then I also ended up finishing up with Confess. And this one, I didn't really like that much. Like once again, I hate how she names her characters. Like. In all of her books, all the main characters have red hair all the time and like this main character, she has red hair and her name's Auburn. Like it's just, this felt a lot more cliche than her other books. And I did have some issues with like cliches and stuff in her other books that I have read, or at least like I found some parts of It Ends With Us to be cliche, but this felt like just to the extreme and it kind of kept me from liking it like i think i mentioned this i can't remember because i filmed a recent reads where i talked about both of these books so i can't remember if it was in that video or in this one but i think it was in this one that there's just some like things that like are supposed to be funny but they're not funny actually i think it was in the recent reads video that i mentioned this but like his initials are omg and it's like this inside joke between them but like who looks at someone's driver's license and looks at their initials like I don't think it's that funny I don't know it was like he was so embarrassed he's like oh my god like my initials are omg and I was like I don't think it's that deep I don't know this isn't one of her more popular ones uh but I definitely don't think that this one is as strong as her other books I just kind of was like Ugh. while I was reading it I was hoping for it to be a little bit better I was hoping for a little bit more so yeah, it hasn't like, I'm not writing her off still because I do have other books of hers that I felt the same way about, but then I have other ones that I've really enjoyed. So it's kind of, 
a toss up, but I mean, she's really just a controversial author in general, but I just kind of wanted to see like why there has been so much just ever growing hype around her. When I joined booktube, there was a lot of hype around her, but since TikTok, it's just taken off wildly. So I thought this was really interesting because it has been so long since I've read anything by her to kind of see what I've been missing. But actually, now that I'm looking at this pile, I definitely have November 9 on my shelves as well. So I have five books of hers left to read. So if you would like me to do another vlog, then definitely let me know and I can do that. But yeah, this was fun. I enjoyed it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked it and I will see you in another new video soon. Bye!